What's up everyone, Jake here from Jake's Aviation, back today with another model unboxing and review video. This time it's of the Aviation 400 Philippines Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. Uh, very excited to have this, I've got the A350 and now I've got the 777 and that's my Philippines fleet complete, that's all I need. Um, very excited you know, to have another Aviation 400 model, these are absolutely stunning. The mold is fantastic, the detail is always there. Um, never any complaints about Aviation 400 in that aspect. So yeah, let's get right on into it. Here we have the beautiful box. Um, registration is Romeo Papa dash Charlie seven 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 eight. Um, very very nice box, you know, as you can see. More information. Plain back though. Got the right here. Specs there, etc. Plain back. Small does come with a little stand, as you can hear it clinking around there, you can see it there. Um, I haven't had a mall that's come with a tug in a very long time. I think the one or two that I got a couple of years ago, um, that was a rare thing. But here we go, here we have the mall. Uh, that can stay right there, it's perfect. Alright, very, very excited to have this uh, in the collection. Yep, it is. Uh, second. Get the, I have to just dim that tape there real quick. There we go. Yeah, sometimes they tape the uh, the pieces together. It's interesting. Hey, it's added security, but um, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we have the mall. Wow. Oh boy. Looks fantastic. All righty. So there we go. Move the container out the side. And we'll bring them all into view here. And we'll readjust the camera here in a second. Overall, just taking a, a look at it. Looks absolutely fantastic. Um, wow. Very, very nice. Very excited to have this. You know, great detail by Aviation 400. Um, we'll get right on into it and show you that. So, starting off here. Fantastic mold. Um, we like cockpit area. The gear looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, great detail around the L1 door there. You have 778 there on the gear door. Cockpit windows and the nose section looking very, very nice. Uh, moving along. Just, just ever so slightly. Here we go. And we got the beacon up here. Very, very nice. The standard with Aviation 400, the little red jewel as the beacon. It's very nice. And there should be one underneath. And we'll, uh, yep, we'll take a look at that uh, in a bit. We're moving along. You got the L2 door here, the Philippines titles. There's no Philippine Airlines or anything. It's just Philippines. Um, but we know that. The rest of it. Uh, a lot of great detail all around here. Very, very nice. We're moving, you got the antennas and the one of the Wi Fi domes on the top there. The GE90 is looking absolutely fantastic. Um, these are hollow though. They are see-through. Um, and I think that's where the only thing that I think um, NG beats them out on is the engines. They're a little bit more detailed. The gear too, maybe-ish. Um, I don't really think there's a huge difference. I know these like tilt and whatnot, NGs don't. But the engines are a little bit more detailed on the NG variant of the 777 mold, uh, their mold. But overall, the detail and everything is fantastic. The size, everything looks great. The wing, um, the mount, everything looks fantastic. The wing itself is great here. Um, nice and sharp, looking great. Very, very nice, great detail. Uh, moving along, you got the overwing exit mark in there. You have these two little black um, pieces right on top here. I'm not sure what those are actually for, but very nice touch though. Um, that's pretty cool. Got the L4 door there, and the Boeing 777 300R, the registration, the Philippines flag, L5. More antennas and the, another little uh, dome there. Very, very nice. Coming down to the tail cone area, the APU area, very, very nice. Great detail there. <laughs> Looks fantastic. The horizontal stabilizer is looking very nice as well, as well as the tail fin looking great. Got the sort of half sun and whatnot on the tail there. Um, looking very, very nice. We'll flip around here. And on this side, you have the bulk bin door. Um, 
lower deck cargo door there. The aft. Uh, great detail and everything on this side as well. Same thing. And then you have the forward cargo door right there. So very, very nice. Uh, we'll take a look now at the top. So looking at top down, the registrations on this wing right here, as you can see. Mm, great overwing, uh, exit marking details and everything. Great details all on the wing as well. And then underneath, here we go. We have the bottom and here's the little beacon right there. Very, very nice. We've got the antennas as well. This little uh, striped one there, red and white. Very nice touch. Overall looking fantastic. This sort of beige underneath looks really nice. Um, yeah, a very sharp model, a very, very good looking model. Livery's relatively plain, but uh, the mold and the details definitely do show, and I'm very, very impressed. So, a, a great model. I'm very happy to have this. And um, if you can find it, I'd say pick it up, you know. I don't know when the last time we had a Philippines 777. Um, released but actually before I forgot to mention this at the start of the video <laughs> a little backstory on this one though actually if I remember correctly this was I purchased this model or well I pre-ordered it let me see if I can find the exact date um, I pre-ordered this model I want to say she's probably about a year ago or more um, and I just received it in the last two weeks I just received it about two weeks ago um, this video as of the time of recording it's May uh, 2nd um, and I really I received this in April but let me see if I can find where I uh, where I ordered this I got it from Easy Toys, but that's the one thing with Aviation Foreigner. It's it's notorious that you know they release models like the the previews of them or whatever, and you know they release the information to um, you know retailers to sell them, pre-order them or whatever. You can pre-order, but these models take forever to come out. And this was um, this Philippines Triple uh, Seven was in amongst a batch of I think some Cathays, some Air China, like an Air China, an A and A Star Alliance, something like that. A bunch of those that they came out a long time ago, uh, but we're finally just receiving them now. So let's see if I can find the order, the which order it was that I placed. Um, let's see. Ah uh, yes, I play. I ordered this model on May twenty fifth, twenty twenty two, and it has just arrived about a week or so ago. Uh, about two weeks ago, my bad. Um, so pretty crazy. Um, almost an entire year. You know, we're coming up. It just hitting May now, uh, but almost a year, just shy about a month or so. Um, that you know it took for this mall to be manufactured and had actually shipped and for for me to get it um, I don't know if other people if it was a you know it took them as long as well but it seems like they only really made start like making these sooner um, and you know I'm not gonna lie I think it's I think it's not um, really intentional but I have noticed that they do take their time with making uh, these models, Aviation 400. If you if you guys follow, um, I think it's My Hobby House or something. It's a Malaysia um, Malaysian company that uh, like you know posts about like sells models and stuff. But they post. I guess they have like a partnership with Aviation 400 or something where they promote and they show off some of the models when they're being uh, produced. Um, and it, it seems like these were only really started. They only started to really produce them recently. But they took their time with it, um, and, and it shows in the detail. You know, it shows in the in the craftsmanship of these models. Um, they're no, no, they're not rushed. Um, yes, they're batch produced, but they are the quality is there. It, it is. It seems like they check them, uh, they take their time with them, and it's well worth the wait. Um, to be honest, I, I almost forgot about this model until the charge came through, and I was like, oh. And I looked and I saw what it was, and I was like. Wow, finally. Um, so, you know, it was, a, it was a nice day to see that, and I'm happy to finally have it. And I'm sure, 
a lot of you guys are happy to get some of those other ones that you pre-ordered from almost a year ago. Uh, so yeah, with that being said guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's gonna do it So if you did smash that like button subscribe for more model unboxing and review videos as well as other content And I, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care